All right, so this is The Menu. Uh, it's a movie that just came out, I believe, this weekend. Uh, it's a horror movie or thriller uh, having to do with, with food. It, it takes place in a restaurant with a chef. And it's directed by Mark Milan. I'll say how I feel about it in a second. Uh, Anya Taylor-Joy plays Margot, and Nicholas Holt plays Tyler. Uh, they are getting on a, a boat to go to an island to eat at this, this really popular restaurant with this really popular chef, uh, Chef Slowick, played by Ralph Fiennes. And, you know, they go there to eat, and obviously it's, it's kind of almost cultish with the food and things like that, their obsession with food, the cooks and the chef. And he comes out and he's explaining all the different courses and the different food and things. Um, but then things start to get really creepy and, and dangerous. And the people uh, that came there to eat realize that their lives are pretty much in jeopardy. So before seeing this, I saw a video come up on YouTube. I didn't watch it. Uh, saying it was a good movie with a bad ending. And I agree. <laughs> I enjoyed this movie a lot. I actually thought it was great for you know a good portion of it and then it it kind of falls apart in the end but let's get to the positives first uh performances all great but especially ralph Fiennes as the chef uh, he's the one who comes out and explains all the different things about the food and you know the, obviously the courses and things like that and they're a lot a lot more elaborate even before it gets dangerous and, you know he's kind of artsy with it you know he sees food as you know, an art form, and that it's not as appreciated like it should be, or it's been diluted pretty much. Uh, also, he has frustrations having to deal with, you know, being in the service industry, and that's a pretty big theme here. I would say that's the main theme, but there's some other themes in here, too, that are really interesting, and he sells it so well. All the performances are great, Anya Taylor-Joy and Nicholas Holt. You know, uh, Nicholas Holt's character, um, you know, he's you know, obviously obsessed with the chef and with food and things like that. He's an enthusiast, and he plays that pretty perfectly. But Ralph Fiennes is definitely the one that, that elevates this movie to the, to, to the great points it was at <laughs> early on, and, and, and also in the middle. Uh, the uh, movie is shot really well, right? I, I was kind of hungry, because <laughs> um, uh, I saw it in the morning. I barely had time to eat before I went to go see the movie. Uh, and it was making me hungry, right? I mean, all the food looked great, and the way that they cooked it, and the way that shot is 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 beautiful, even. And you know, it it made me because I'm not much of a foodie, but it, it made me really interested to maybe you know get into it. I don't know because uh, he was just so passionate, uh, the chef and the, and the cooks that worked for him, that it was uh it was really good. Uh, I will say, as far as you know, the production. There's this giant, I mean, they spend most of the time in this, in this, you know, one room, this one area where they're eating, uh, most of the movie. There's a giant window, and you can see, like, the clouds and the water and stuff like that. At multiple points in the movie, that looks really fake to me, <laughs> the outside of that window <laughs> with the clouds and the water. So that kind of took me out of it. Other than that, the movie is beautiful. It has a really good score to it that helps build the tension because the movie is so good at that. Um, having seen so many movies, you know, being a reviewer, uh, they start to get predictable. I mean, some movies just are predictable, but they start to get predictable. And there was parts of this that I could kind of predict, but it kept me guessing for, for a lot of it to where I, I didn't know exactly where it was going. And I was kind of excited about that for most of it. <laughs> um, you know, uh, there's, you know, there was a point where I was like, you know, me just criticizing the movie, I guess. I was like, why is Anya Taylor-Joy and Nicholas Holt's character, why are they even together? They don't seem to be compatible at all. Like, he's really obsessed with this stuff, and she seems to not care at all. And, you know, they don't really gel well to, together, so I don't even know why they're here with each other. And that actually does get explained, and that actually did have a good explanation. So, you know, I, I was interested to see, you know, the, the, you know, the themes and, and where it was going with the story and the characters and things like that. Uh, there's another character. Uh, John Leguizamo plays him. Uh, he's a uh, celebrity. He was a he was a movie star. He was an actor, and but finally he asked the chef why he, he's there, why he you know has issues with him, and <laughs> being a movie reviewer, I related. I, I won't lie. I won't even say what it is, but <laughs> but when he explains it, I was like, you know what, that makes sense. We can go ahead and get to the negatives now. That's the, the most of it. 
is uh, the, the, you know, the themes and performances and things like that Ralph Fiennes. Uh, the negatives here, we're not even getting to the ending yet, but it's mainly, the ending really put into perspective for me. Um, it has these themes, it has you know, the, you know, frustration with the service industry, things like that, um, you know, the artistry of it all. Uh, also, there's some gender politics involved too. Some power dynamics between the, you know, the, uh, one of the cooks and the chef and things like that. Um, it has so much of this there, like dealing with each course and things like that, that it started to feel less cohesive, almost like it was just throwing certain themes and th certain things in there for each course or for each moment, but not really building to something overall. And it's re that really hit me when we got to the ending. The ending, it part it's, it's partially horrifically beautiful <laughs> uh, where it ends up with the characters and what ends up happening to them. But then it's also really contrived as well. Like there's something that happens with Anya Taylor-Joy's character, Margot. And I was like, really, that's, that's it? I mean, it, it, it felt contrived. It felt like, oh, this is just what we're just going to do. It, 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 it just seemed too easy. And it's, it's almost like they didn't know how to end it. So this is just what they picked. Right, like partially knew with the thing that happens with the guests and things, but partially didn't know really what they wanted to do, at least with Anya Taylor-Joy's character, it felt like, because it was this big moment for her to do this thing. And I was like, really, this is all she had to do? It's, it's, it's quite ridiculous. Uh, that's it though. Um, like I said, great performances, especially by Ralph Fiennes. It shot really well, like the score, and you know, it builds tension in such an interesting and exciting way. And I love all the food and the way that it, you know, all that's prepared and shot and the, the artistry of it all. There's also a critic in there that I thought um, that storyline with that critic was really good. But ultimately it doesn't reach its potential fully because of how weak that ending was. I mean, it, it really is just that weak. It doesn't feel like the whole thing feels like a cohesive story that comes together in the end. It just feels like, ah, this is just what we're gonna do. Um, when you see a cheeseburger towards the end, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But anyway, that's it. I'm gonna give it a just awesome. It just almost got my highest rating, but not quite. And yeah, that's it. That's the menu and we're done.